Hey guys, uh, today, today I want to talk about uh, Look at My Hair Wolf by Alessandro Mastronati. Um, people have to seem to have some problems, some issues with um, Alessandro's animals, or at least with the fur versions. And um, here they look at my hair figures. You can get those presets on his website. And um, so we need to load the wolf first, of course. Takes a while. So, comes with the group for the fur. And um, we render without the fur for the first time to compare the differences. This is the same like the standard figure is, and without any fur. But the groups here, group 0, 1, and 2, are, um, are there. And the look at my hair figures folder and um, you can use them for the fur. What you need for is for that purpose is the look at my hair player. It's free and you can download it on the Touch Studio, S3D Studio um, website in the store. It's like I say it's free, everybody can get it. And um, first of all don't use the preview density. It doesn't need to set your only will um, reduce your memory for this purpose. Um, let's see in texture shaded mode you can see here now it's a lot of fur. So and we want to avoid that. So we have to then the density set to, to zero. We don't need it because the green here from the objects is already there. What you have uh, what we have second have is um, three groups. First group is the body Second group is the tail, and the third group is the other ears. And well, something like this. Let's pose the tail some a little bit. The wolf. So now the tail is like this. And give um, give him a pose. Something. Walking, maybe walking wolf. Because um, before we add the fur to the wolf, you need to have um, the animal uh, in the right position. If you change the animal, the fur will not change the position with it. So if you Pose the fur, then uh, the, the wolf. Sorry, if you pose the wolf, then add the fur, and repose the wolf. The fur will not follow. So, be sure that's the position you want to have for your render. Okay. So, of course, there's more than just the posing um, to it. You can pick the wolf, and then you have some. So, something like this, that's too much. You have some settings here, and uh, tongue can be extended. A little bit like that. You can, like in, in normal, something like that. So, these groups will always follow. Yeah, the look at my hair group. They will, they will follow, and um, they are the presets for the fur. So when when you, you are satisfied with the pose, then you can add the fur with look at my hair. So <coughs> um, you have no. Um, I have not reset some settings. So, this is a base, I think. Uh, 500,000 is too much. 250,000 is 
better. And um, the first group is like we have seen here is the body and a little bit of face and legs and everything, paws. Yeah. And we want to have this the highest amount of hair quantity. Yeah, of course it's necessary the fur, the body fur needs to be very, very high. So 250,000. Group 2 is the tail. It doesn't need to be at 100,000. It can be to somewhere uh, 25,000. And the uh, ears as well, 25,000. Then also the roots can be 300 and 100 here. The thickness of the root and the color can be gray, grayish, something like that. And if you want to have those colors set to all three groups, you will need to adjust the colors here and then click this button. This will take the color settings to all other groups. Okay, let's go. So click the wolf and you have the groups here and then to object. It asks now if we want to do that and then it starts converting those groups into visible fur. This takes a while and it could be that you have uh, no responding from Dash Studio, but you need to wait uh, patiently. This will consume a lot of your memory and then saving the fur to the object. Takes a while. It's no problem. But I leave it in real time. I don't cut the scene. So though you can see that it works and how it works. So you need to confirm three times for all the three groups. And the first one has been the body. Now you can see here the fur on the body. Now it's the tail. It's a little bit faster because it's not so much. And third group, the ears. We'll add some fur to the ear. Then it's done. So now make another render. So this looks pretty cool already. There's um, um, a mistake and error, I think, in the conversion of the fur. Um, the paw, the two front paws, um, are slightly off. You can see it here. The fur is here and the paw is here. Don't know why that happened. It happens almost all the time. Um, perhaps you can uh, remove this in post work or you find a position where it's not you know, not visible. Yeah, if you have enough um, uh, environment, it's, it's barely visible and often you don't see it at all. I will show you in a second. Wait a moment. Here. Um, it's uh, the wolf and here I did nothing, no post work in this standing position. Um, it's, it's barely visible that it's a little bit off in the front pause. Okay, so go back to our Dash Studio. So we have to deal with it somehow. So this is a free player, it's not the software to buy, so I can live with it. Yeah. Okay, if you want to get rid of those that you can see the back line, you, of course you need to weather darken the root a little bit more, so it's less visible. I delete it. Um, or give it more, more fur, more hairs. So the group 1, 250,000. I try it with the black root tip now and we'll convert it again to object. Um, I will cut the scene and be back when it's done. 
I just wanted to show you in the first um, walkthrough um, the whole process. Yeah, but you know you know it and I can cut it. So you can see now it's not gone with the setting of the root to black. You can try to work with a darker environment. So just rotate it somewhere where it's darker. Something like this. So depends on the light as well. If you have uh, the light from the other opposite side of the camera, then you have the shine through, of course. Um, so it's here, it's much better now, it depends also on the light. But you could also increase the numbers from 250,000 if you have a lot of memory. You can also um, increase the root thickness to something 400. And um, yeah, let's see if we can just delete the zero group and only no, not possible. I would say only um, recalculate the first group only, but it's not possible. You cannot leave the other two groups out, I think. Let's see. If we select group two and lower the complexity to zero because it's already there, a group. Don't know. And the third group as well. Let's see what happens now. So what you can see, if you don't delete the previous fur groups, it will make new ones. And since we know one and two already have been very good, we can delete the other two new groups and only leave the zero because that's a new one we did with a root tip of 400 root thickness. Sorry. Yeah. So this could be a little change here. I'm not sure about that. But the most important thing is the hair quantity to get more fur. We can set this to 300,000. And um, leave the rest like it is. Not delete all the groups because it will make new groups again. Back with the complexity. But as you have learned, um, you can leave the complex complexity. Um, to zero if you don't want to refer one of those groups. Yeah, it will not affect the new, the old group with a new one. So here it is. And now you can see here the line is invisible, so it's a lot of fur here with 300,000 and the overall or looking impression is better. So rest depends on the angle perhaps. If we angle something like this, we you rarely have the wolf in that close and close up view. Something here with a person walking by together here like this. So it's not uh, filling the whole scene. So something like this. And if we render now, it looks good. Now we have a very little fellow in your scene. 
and you can give him some environment, whatever, some reword, HDRI, for example, something like that. It should be darker now, but you know you can choose the colors by those color presets here and darken your wolf as you like it. This is a gray one and, and a lot of light. Now, so if we also lower the intensity of the light. It's already darker. And you can see here now the little, uh, <coughs> the not adjusted fur of the paw um, doesn't uh, affect that much. You can see it, but uh, um, the more the color of the environment is the color of the fur, like in snow, for example or a dark environment with dark wolfers, you can really avoid seeing this little thing here. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and you learned something. Um, you have, can now uh, populate your scenes with furry fellows. And uh, I, for the moment, it's all from me about this issue. And I say goodbye. Thank you for watching.